Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic. Now, last week, I attempted to build a slingshot using the ropes mod, and I was very, very unsuccessful. But I didn't want that to be the end of the slingshot concept, so I passed the challenge off to my community and my Discord to see if they could come up with slingshots that actually work, as opposed to mine, which did not. And I wasn't sure what I expected, but you guys actually delivered. This challenge was open for about five days, and I got about 100 individual submissions for slingshots. And that took a couple hours to get through looking at and testing and trying to understand how they all work. So from those 100 submissions, I've cut it down to about 14 that stood out to me in some way or another. Keep in mind that these judgments are completely subjective. There's no like objective, better or worse measurement that I'm using here. But to give you a hint at what I was going by, first of all, the instructions had to be relatively simple and easy to figure out. There were some slingshots that were just like, first you gotta press this button, then hop out of your seat, then go delete this block, then press this button, and then go over here and do this thing. And then you wanna come back and hold this button for five seconds. And then you go and press this button, and then you hop back in your seat. You press number one, three, two, four, five, three, two, one for three seconds, two. You get the point. So most of the ones you're going to see today have relatively simple instructions. Some of them are actually completely automatic, which is a single button push, which is amazing. Um, the other thing I was looking for is how close is it to an actual slingshot as far as the way that the mechanism and physics work. And then other things I was looking for was uh, how effective does it actually sling a shot? It is a slingshot after all. The goal is to throw things. So a couple of these are mind blowing. Uh, and the the... The top pick for me, uh, you're probably going to be surprised at what it is. So I'm going to save that one for last, though. The other ones aren't in any particular order, mostly because it's hard to remember what each individual one does. But I do remember what my favorite one does. Okay, without further ado, we're going to start with this one right here, which uh, technically isn't a slingshot, but it still stood out to me because it's a really awesome kind of crossbow. And to be honest, the difference between a slingshot and a crossbow, not really that different. They kind of use the same physics. The difference is that a crossbow has a rail that kind of guides the projectile, but this technically doesn't even use the rail. So I think it's, it's still actually more akin to a slingshot physically, but a crossbow visually. So this is by Senor Mustache. So anyway, I think uh, what we do, we press the white button, we press this button, and take a look at the shape of this thing. It looks so good when it pulls back like that. So then I think what we're supposed to do is we take this, we weld it right here. And did I weld this to the ground? I didn't weld this to the ground. Hold on, I hope this doesn't break it. This shouldn't break it. It broke it. All right, so we hit the button, we pull it back, we take this, we weld it right there. I believe, and then as soon as we delete this block right here, it should fire. And three, two, one, fire! Look at that! It totally works! And I think it actually works, when I was testing this, I think it actually works a lot better with just the single block. And I don't even think I need to weld this to the ground, to be honest, so let's just try it with the single block here. Three, two, one, fire! I'm assuming it launched it because it is gone. <laughs> it is completely gone and probably went very, very far. All right, so that is a great start to the slingshot challenge using a crossbow slingshot ballista combo. Let's move on to the next ones. Okay, up next, we got this one by Rambler Mama 3 He calls it the cross shot or cross hot. I guess you would have to have three S's in here for it to be cross shot. That would look weird. I, I understand why you did it that way. All right, so I think I just press a button and it works. So here we go. Three, two, one, press. Look at that. Is that crazy or what? So most of these are just one time use, so I have to respawn them in to try it again, uh, which is just kind of the nature of how the parts work. But look at that. It even has recoil. It has recoil. A sl I mean, I guess slingshots have recoil, but I mean, not, not that kind of recoil. It's kind of like the opposite recoil where the force goes forward from letting go of the uh, rubber bands. It is so effective though. Look at how far that thing goes. Look at that, it just shot up into the air. You know, I wanna see what this one, what happens if we just fire it into a wall? It's probably gonna go straight through the wall, but I have to see. 
Yeah, the wall didn't even detect it. It was just, it was just complete phase phasing right through. Okay, broken physics. All right, on to the next one. Okay, up next, so this one does not use the roast mod. In fact, I think it is completely vanilla. So this one really stood out to me because of the scale of this and the method that he uses for the suspension here. This isn't the only one to use this method, but this one definitely stood out among the ones that did. All right, so we'll go ahead and weld this thing down. And uh, he didn't even give me instructions for this. He just said push buttons and see what happens, but I was able to do it. So we got to put that up there. We press number two, then we bring this back and it's using suspension, as you can see, as a tension device in the rope. But uh, we actually have to hold on number three. There we go. Oh, yeah, we can aim this thing up like that. And then I can go over here and put something down. Okay, that's good. That's good. Please don't glitch out. Okay, and then I think I press... I didn't press any buttons, it just glitched out, but it worked, didn't it? So yeah, some people had this really interesting workaround using suspension, which I think technically it doesn't qualify as like slingshot physics because the suspension is more of a pushing physics than a pulling physics. He's made this function in such a way that it looks like it's rope that is being stretched or rubber band that is being stretched, even though they're technically being compressed and not stretched. So I thought that was really, really clever. So yeah, obviously you're supposed to pull it back and then you release it like that. And the other thing that I liked about this was the fact that it has the pulling back kind of function like you would do with a normal slingshot. So I like that a lot. All right, moving on. All right, up next, this one doesn't look like much, but holy cow, this is more than much. This is by Tom353. And this one is also completely automatic. This one blew my mind. Are you ready for this? I don't even know if you're ready for this. Here we go, we press the button. Yeah. Yeah, that just happens. That, that, that's what this thing does. And it's consistent. It is so consistent. Here, watch. I'll spawn a couple more in just so we can watch this thing just get flown across the map like a bunch of times. All right, ready? We're gonna do that one. We're gonna do that one. Look at that. Look at that. It just, it disappears. You can barely see them. I don't know how. I don't know. Like it's, it's a similar method like, it's a somewhat similar method to what I was trying to do where I pull back with the rope, but I just kept glitching out my creation. So I was super impressed with that. And it's all automatic with a single button press. So super, super simple, easy, and effective. It was like it hit all of the markers and it like functions like a slingshot too. All right, moving on. I mean, I'm just blown away by how many different designs there were. Like I gave you guys the task to build a slingshot and there's there were like 80 different variations on that concept. Okay, here's another one. This is called Slingshot Pinata by Ultra Cake. The fact that it launches a pinata was amusing to me. So if I remember correctly, I gotta weld this thing. I gotta delete that block. And then I get in the seat. I think I press number one, number two. Oh boy. And then number three. Yes, yeah, so look. <laughs> and it works super well. Not quite as extreme as the other one, but this one uh, has a little bit more of a slingshot visual, I think, than the other one does at least. All right, number one, number two, and number three. Oh, that was terrible camera work, but you get the idea. All right, moving on to the next one. We got a lot to look at. Okay, this one right here, it looks like a mess, right? It looks like somebody just put a slab and painted a bunch of stuff. There's no way this is going to work, but this, this one is actually my favorite. So we're going to save that one for last. Stick around to the end of the video. Don't, don't skip. Stick around. I'm watching you. I mean, you're supposed to be watching me, but now I'm watching you. So how's it feel? Hmm? Hmm? All right, moving on. We have Slingshot Cannon. Okay, oh, this one is really interesting. All right, so check this out. <laughs> All right, so when I press the button, it works just fine. You ready? Look at that. It works so well, too. Wait, how did that not expl- How did- What? Oh, there it goes. Okay, but now something interesting happens when I weld one of these on here, and I don't know why this happens. Now what? I'm gonna weld it just like that. You'll notice that above the weld point, the explosive extends a single block, whereas below the weld point, the explosive extends two blocks. Now look at the description. To reload, delete caution blocks and weld the cardboard on the cyan and make sure that the bomb has two blocks below weld point and one block above weld point. 
Not doing this will lead to explosive decomposition and a loss in power. Now, I don't know if this is going to work the same way it did when I was examining all these and testing all these, but if it does, watch what happens. I followed the instructions just like they said, but here we go. What is that? That, that I think is the explosive decomposition he was talking about. All right, up next we have a one of a kind slingshot of the nearly 100 different submissions. This was the only one that worked in this way and it does kind of work, not quite as well as everything else. And it is the laggiest of them all as well, but uh, it's definitely unique. So this is by Chup Norris. Obviously, you can see the frames are already dropping. This one, uh, he created a rubber band effect using the pistons. But as far as I know, the pistons themselves, the, they're not actually powered at all. This is just the pistons themselves stretching and, be, and generating tension, not giving any force input at all. So it actually kind of works like a slingshot in that way. Okay, number one. Oh, it's so laggy. And then number two. And then we got to delete the red blocks. All right, this one, I also liked the fact that it uh, it grabs and pulls like a thing. Then we press number one again to bring it back. And look at this. You can see the tension happening for... Or I'm just going to angle it all the way up. There we go. They still... There we go. Ammo is now uh, released. And now we just delete the blue, block, the blue blocks to uh, launch. Ready? Three, two, one. Launch! Look at that! Just like a slingshot. A very, very weak slingshot, but a slingshot nonetheless. And the only slingshot in this competition that used pistons like a rubber band like this. There's plenty of slingshots that use pistons as like the force mechanism, which you're basically creating like a piston launcher. I also got like catapult things and like trebuchet style things that just weren't slingshots at all. But uh, this one used pistons in a way that wasn't like a slingshot. So I was impressed. All right, moving on. This one is also a league of its own. It was the only one I saw that used this particular method. This is by Crazy Nuggets. He says he wanted to try something different, so he made a thrust slingshot. And it still uses the ropes mod and the tension of the ropes to fling the thing. It's just kind of like, it's almost like a reverse slingshot, where normally you would grab the pouch and pull the, the pouch back and release. This one, you pull the slingshot away from the pouch to provide the tension, which would make it really, really difficult to aim, but it would still work. And the other really great thing about this is it's a single button. That's all you got to do is press a single button. There we go. You guys ready for this? We hop in the seat and this bomb down below us is going to get launched by these thrusters. It's kind of amazing. Three, two, one, launch. Is that cool or what? It's so unique. And it still uses the same physics as the slingshot. The rope acts as like a rubber band and it gets stretched to launch the projectile. That's awesome. All right, one more time, just because it's awesome to watch. <laughs> that is so cool. This is such a unique and clever and creative design. I'm a really big fan of this one. All right, moving on. We got Scrapman Slingshot by Quadratic 4. So this one is relatively simple, relatively easy, and it feels really smooth when you use it. I don't know why, but uh, check it out. Look at that. It's just, it's very simple. Very simple, very effective. It's kind of like a more low key slingshot. Very, very casual, just gentle, but you can see it happening and the, the block just launches so smoothly. Like the consistency is, I was going to say off the charts, but I think that's the opposite of consistency. I think consistency would be very on the charts all the time. Yeah, check it out. I don't know why, but when it releases, it, it feels smooth. It's hard to explain, but I don't know if you guys get the same feeling. It just feels so smooth. A lot of creations have like some jitteriness to them when the tension is applied to the ropes. This creation doesn't even budge, even though it's not even welded to the ground. The block just gets launched completely straight. There's no spinning on it or anything. Look at that. Like it just gets, it gets launched like it's, it's just floating through the air. Move it on. All right, up next, this one is actually another one of my favorites. It's, it's probably my second most favorite, so I'm going to save that for second to last. All right, up next, we have this one. This one is definitely not the most effective, but it was one of the most unique. This is by CyberPro. Blue switches start up. Wait two, three seconds after the purple part is back in its position. Red switch is the trigger. Oh, yeah, okay. So I think I just pressed the blue switch, and now watch. 
Look at this. Look at this. Okay. Okay, then the rope. Yeah, the ropes automatically attach. And then. Wait for it. Wait for. I remember that there was a. It was a big waiting game. Look at this. Okay. All right, I think now we press the red button to launch. Three, two, one, launch. Now it provides tension. The ropes are actually contracting to provide tension. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's so much tension. What? That didn't work the way it did last time. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? Uh oh. Oh, please don't. Please don't. No! <laughs> it still launched it somehow. Stay, stop, don't glitch through, don't glitch through, don't, it's glitching through, it's glitching through. Too much tension, let go, let go, just do it, just do it before it's, yes! It worked! Okay, now you see what it's supposed to do. Definitely not quite as smooth feeling as the other one that I mentioned. Alright, moving on! Alright, up next we got this one. This is by PoKB. Wait for pistons to extend. Press the button in slot 1. Press the button in slot 2. Press the button in slot 3. Okay, I think this is one of the ones that just worked. And it worked like a slingshot. So, here we go. Press 1. Press number 2. Look at that. And then you press number 3. Oh, yes. Yeah, I do remember it now. It was another one of those really smooth feeling ones, like that other one. But this one launches way farther as well. It's like, I don't know why, it just feels, the smoothness of the release just feels awesome. All right, and release. I think it's the fact that the block stays perfectly level. Like there's no rotational force applied to it whatsoever. And it releases just without any hiccups or any jittering whatsoever. It feels great. So I'm actually curious here. I remember testing this out, adding another like block or two to this. So what I did was I added a block to each side because I'm like, does this only work with a single block? But it worked just as well like that. But now I'm going to try something that I'm pretty sure is going to ruin it. And I'm going to put a toilet seat. All right, here we go. We're going to see if it works for the toilet seat. Three, two, one, launch. Okay, well, clearly it was meant for the weight of one block or a couple of blocks. <laughs> It still kind of worked though. It did not work. All right, moving on. All right, and up last, before we have my two personal favorites, we have Simple Slingshot. And this is one of the ones that uh, actually used the suspension method. And he also made it really, really convincing that it looks like a uh, rubber band being pulled back. This is by Lum Gaming. All right, so check this out. Press the green button and then look at that. Look at that. It's definitely applying attention to these things, but once again, it is suspension being expanded rather than rubber bands being contracted that is uh, launching this. But do we have? Oh, we have a toilet seat right there. Okay, three, two, one, launch! And look at that, it actually does really well considering the weight of a toilet seat too. All right, and let's do one more launch just for good measure. Expand and then release. Look at that, perfect. Really consistent too and super easy to use. All right, moving on. We have my two top picks. We have this one by General Lindor. The reason why this is a top pick was because of two things. One is that it used the ropes and the tension method in a unique way that not really many other people used it. Actually, the closest one to it is the rocket one. But this one, rather than having forward force stretching the ropes, this one uses sideways force to stretch the ropes. But the second thing is that it's indefinitely repeatable. You can just keep using it over and over again. You don't have to respawn it in. You don't have to reload. It uses a bomb spawner and everything is just automated to work automatically. Check it out. All right. And it's a vehicle. I mean, you got to give it that as well. All right. So we're going to go ahead and stop. And there's a, it's a single button. Ready? Look at that. Look, and we can just keep. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. I, I got to give it time to compress the pistons before I start it again. I didn't think about that. All right, now let's not be a dumb dumb when we're using it. All right, there we go. Look at that, pistons come back. And as soon as the pistons come back, that's when we can start doing it again. Is this crazy or what? 
So, I don't know about you guys, but the way that this stretches out to throw it, like, the stretchiness of the rope when I'm seeing that happen, it reminds me of, like, tossing dough or, like, making noodles. If you've ever seen, like, the chefs, like, uh, they're stretching out the dough and the dough just keeps, like, thinning out and stuff, like, that remind- this reminds me of that and it's kind of really satisfying for whatever reason. And it launches explosives. That's also a bonus. So yeah, good job on the programming of this and the design of this. And the fact that it is completely reusable. He said not to use it while driving, so let's use it while driving. Oh, okay. I, I see what the problem is now. Okay, moving on to the finalist. My personal favorite, which I thought was actually not going to make it in based on... The, I judged it by its cover, and I'm like... That somebody didn't like they just gave up on this clearly they this paint job is they, they clearly didn't put a lot of thought and care into this but it turned out to be my absolute favorite so this is by guac all you got to do is weld it to the ground get in the seat and hold down the one button until it makes a massive sound so i gotta be honest i don't know how this was done without this thing just glitching out but but it's been done. So you see uh, there's ropes next to my seat and when I hold number one, you'll see they'll angle out and then they'll attach to those posts. And I keep holding number one. Now look at where my seat is in relation to the piston. You can tell right now that there's tension being applied to the rope. And now we get the noise and are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? We just glitched into a rock. Can you believe at how massive the force is on this? Now, I'm not even done showing you this thing yet because we got stopped by a rock. So now I'm gonna weld this thing so it is angling up into the sky. And then, then we're gonna see just the potential that this thing has. All right, I don't know if this is a steep enough angle to get over that mountain, but you know what? Let's find out. Hold the button. <laughs> I love that. I love that you can see the tension being applied. All right, there goes the noise. And I also like that there's so much anticipation after noise. Like, when's it going to release? And... Look at this! We're going to hit the wall. Almost. Oh, that tree. We might have rolled into the wall if it wasn't for that tree. Can you believe at how far that thing launches? And it only uses two ropes that I can see. Here, let me actually confirm that. Two ropes. I thought maybe he might have glitch welded ropes into each other or something to make like more force, but this is all the force he's getting with only two ropes. It's just crazy. Here, I want to see if I can launch myself all the way back to the starting area. We're going to make this thing, we're going to point this thing up really high. That's the angle I'm talking about. Hopefully I don't hit these trees, but uh, let's see what happens. How far do you think we're going to go? We're at one end of the map, so let's see. Oh no. Oh, it's glitching a little bit. I don't know if this is going to affect our trajectory, the fact that it's like grinding on the ground like that. All right, here we go. Any second now. That seemed even more powerful! Whoa! Look at how high we are! <laughs> that is... just It's just too much power. Like, I don't know how he managed to do that. Well, good job on it. I'm surprised that it doesn't glitch out at all. As you can see, it was very consistent. No issues at all. Three launches in a row. So, of course, this was only 14 of my personal uh, favorites out of the 100 different submissions that I got. There are other ones that also worked just fine, but, of course, I had to narrow it down for the sake of the video. So, if you have the game and you can spawn these creations in yourself and you're interested to see what didn't make it into the video, I'm going to leave the Slingshot Submissions channel open for viewing for the next week or so. So, if you want to go in there, you can see every submission if you want to. You can download them and you can try them up and you can see what what wasn't showcased here. But did you have a favorite out, out of all the ones that were showcased? Let me know down in the comments below. You saw what my favorite was and I think you can tell why. If you missed the original failure of a video that spawned this challenge, then you might want to check that out because the failures were kind of hilarious in and of their own right. So I'm going to leave that right here on the end screen for you guys. I hope this video earned your subscription. Join the Discord if you want to be a part of challenges like this in the future and just to participate in the awesome community that this channel has. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.